Hello, good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Sally Nugent and Ben Thompson. Our headlines today. It's a flooding across large parts of the UK. Morning, Sally. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, a new severe weather warning has come into place for parts of Yorkshire and the East Midlands this morning, as heavy rain is expected to bring further disruption to those already affected by flooding from uh, Storm Babette. Our reporter, Charlotte Leeming, is in Retford in Nottinghamshire for us this morning. Charlotte, what's the latest there? Now, a ban on so-called no-fault evictions in England will now be indefinitely delayed, the government has announced. Plans to reduce the number of hotels which are used to house migrants will be outlined by the government today. The Immigration Minister, Robert Jenrick, will set out 50 hotels which will no longer be used by January, with the aim of cutting 100 by March. Well, our chief political correspondent, Henry Zeffman, is in Westminster for us. A morning, Henry. What more can you tell us about this? The Education Secretary, Gillian Keegan, has written to all schools in England to say that parents have the right to know exactly what their children are being taught in sex education lessons. Uh, time to look at some of uh, today's newspapers. What do you think 40 million years is amongst friends? It's not very much, is it? Uh, no, it depends who you are, I suppose. How about the moon? Oh, right. The, <laughs> the moon, moon been... is 40 million years older than we might have thought. The moon's been apparently. shaving a bit off its age. Yes, it's been pretending it's much younger Get than that. it is. <laughs> <laughs> so they've looked at some of the, of the samples that they uh, collected back in 1972. So they've had these samples for quite a while. This is not a particularly new bit of kind of research. But uh, they've analysed them and it says that it uh, has a maximum age of 4.42 billion years. So actually, if you're talking about billions of years, 40 million is neither here nor there. Nothing. Right? That's nothing. That's nothing. It's barely six months to <laughs> us in human years. It's the amazing stuff that they have to look at about how it melted, when it melted, and it gives it a sense of how old it is. But they say, yeah, they're out by about 40 million years. So. Who knew? Who knew? We all make mistakes, Ben. <laughs> I'll tell you someone who never Some ever makes error. mistakes. Did you have a class pet? Several. Yeah. Yes. What was it? Uh, what do you mean, like to bring home from the holidays? Yes, that you had to look after was, at school. I think it was a hamster. Was it? Yeah, I think it survived. Hamster. Did it? Yes. Oh, good, yes. that's a miracle. I looked after it very well. Because <laughs> school pupils, they tend to look after all sorts of things, don't they? Like Sally's class hamster, the tortoise, even maybe some hatching chicks. Not but... as exciting as that, though, hatching chicks. Hatching chicks. That. The responsibility of that. Uh, how about this one, though? A thousand live oysters. Children on the Isle of Wight have been naming the creatures and painting them for identification purposes before helping to place them in the sea where they will be checking on their progress. It is all part of a project to restore native oysters to the area, as Lindsay Kinghorn reports. I had never thought of naming an oyster after Kieran Trippier. <laughs> I like the whole that. Squad yeah, now, exactly. <laughs> well done to all of them. <laughs> um, that's way more exciting than the things we got to do at school. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, oh, that's cool. At uh, the time now, twenty-one minutes past six, and uh, whether you realise it or not, most of us have probably read a fake review online. Sometimes, of course, that's enough to persuade you to buy something that then fails to live up to the hype. Now, some major retailers say they're going to take action to root out the fakes. You're watching BBC Breakfast. Still to come on today's programme. We'll be back with you very shortly, but let's have a look at the news, the travel and the weather where you are. See you soon.